Welcome back everyone, this is Wombat, and last episode I did say that I was going to farm up, let me change missions, farm up, um, what's it called, try to get some better gear, and what I ended up getting, the, actually I'll just keep this shotgun on, um, I got a better B, I got this really nice grenade mod for what it does, um, and better SMG, better pistol, and I got a rocket launcher for to get up, pretty much when I get downed. Um, I ended up going through the Tiny Tina DLC on normal Vault Hunter mode, and the reason why I didn't record that was I figured that we would do all the DLC on uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, as well as OP8. So, yeah, we can do it up like that. Which I think that would be fun. Let me grab crap, clap trap. Uh, because I'm not gonna need to do any side missions. And as you see, I did level up a lot. I also did fight the warrior like I said I was going to. I got nothing. Um, the B shield I got from a Trent in the Tiny Tina DLC. Um, and that's pretty much it. Besides getting like five levels and the B shield, I really didn't get much like significant gear. I didn't get a flacker or a conference call. Um, and then, yeah, I was gonna try to gr uh, farm for a cleric class mod, but I was like, yeah, the crit damage and the the gun damage if I get the chaotic evil would be nice. I don't think it's worth me getting it just for those two stats alone, because besides that, uh, as is, I'm not specced to anything in the cleric tree, and I don't have enough skill points to respec to get anything in the cleric tree to get the skills that the cleric class mod gives. So I would be getting just the gun damage and the crit damage, and as well as that is good. Um, wow, what? I can't tell if that's me or the gun that fucked all that up. Um, the issue with that is that the two skills that it gives skill points for is like all the way down. Like the one is like in the middle, it's restoration, and the other one is life tap. Life tap is pretty nice, and I wouldn't mind getting a boost in that. But that's all the way. That's the second to last skill before scourge. So, it's not really worth it. I'm gonna try to find something that more plays off of the... The tree that I'm currently fully specced into. Which is like all the elemental damage and shit. Um, I was looking at the legendary class mod for her. It's pretty nice. It gives... Um, like one or two abilities in the first skill tree which are based around gun damage and movement speed and shit reload speed and then the rest of it's uh i think it gives ward reaper helios was it helios i don't know emulate something all i know is that the skills it gives are better than the cleric if i was playing with two another person i would go for that because i would probably be playing a healer um but at this stage, I'm not, and with me only going single player, not really beneficial for me. And do I want to try to farm for a bonus package? Not really. The grenade mod I have, which I'll show off, besides it being a singularity, or not a singularity, a, uh, oh my, a uh, longbow. Longbow, right? Yeah. The way that it... Uh, shoots this out. I This is like one of my favorite grenade mods for slag. And like, if I go decide to fight the, uh, the... If I go decide to fight Terramorphous on this playthrough and I fucked up. God damn it. But with Cloud Kill, I should be able to kill these guys, no problem. Um, that grenade mod in particular is really good for killing... Or a lot of people use it to kill Terramorphous because of the way it works, you throw it and then it bounces around while it does slag. So it covers a lot of ground for per grenade. Uh, a lot of square footage. Oh my. See, and this is why I got the grenade launcher? But I don't know if this is even gonna work. Come on. Oh! Oh my. 
This is like a pseudo, uh, what's it called? I'm dumb. This is like a pseudo, I always forget the name of it, and I don't know why, because it's like the best rocket launcher in the game. Um, I don't know why I can never remember its name, just like, um, which I've been getting better with. I always forget Vermivorous's name. As well as Veracidus. I always either get them mixed up or I just completely forget them. Um, a pseudo... I, you know God, you know what I'm talking about. I just can't recall it. The one that shoots three E-Tech projectiles at a time. And it drops from Hyperius or uh, Vermivorous. Uh, I don't remember. But it's just basically that, um, which is pretty much the equivalent of any E-Tech launcher. I think all pretty much do that. There's uh, the PBFG, which I think shoots two projectiles, uh, which is better, obviously. Um, but for getting up, that launcher was a very big win, a very big pickup for me. So... As long as, uh, once I get the Sanctuary, or I can do it in the first playthrough and just teleport to Sanctuary, um, I have to increase my rocket launcher magazine size, or my, uh, ammo capacity. Because I've never upgraded it at all, because I wasn't using rocket launchers in the first, uh, playthrough. Because I didn't need it. Because I was, like, really overleveled. And, yeah. What I want, what was I getting heals from? Did I pick up a health pack? I might have picked up a health pack. That was weird, because I, like, as soon as I killed him, I got health, but, like, I don't have anything to do that. Uh, let me see. Flint should be an easy kill. I say that, and I'm pretty confident in that answer. That it, he should be an easy kill. Oh! Excuse me. Do I still need a grenade jump? No, there's another way of getting up there, and I just forgot how to do it. There's another way to get up there, I think. Besides that way. It really, that I felt so smooth doing that too. I thought that was gonna work the first time. They resist my elemental damage no! I'm also gonna do a slag him. Mean, it's not gonna do what I want, which is destroy their limbs. And I don't have any rocket ammo, right? Nope. I think what I could do is I can like... Oh yeah, and I forgot, I picked up a chain lightning. Which, to be honest... I think that would be better for this. Like, for bosses, the longbow is gonna be nice. Um... But for, like, just mobbing, uh, the chain lightning is going to be better. Yeah. Wow, I killed the last enemies! I don't even know where I spawned. I think I spawned by where Claptrap was getting beat up. This is going to be a longer episode as well, but I want to finish Flint. The, I think th the basis is that the, enim the the video length is going to increase by a little bit, but that's just because I want to put more into one episode. Uh, being that this playthrough is going to be easy, for the most part, except if I do that. I'll just do that because there's no way to get up. And just make my death a little quicker. Did I just like die twice? Is that what happened? Hmm. That's 
was weird. I might have just died doing this, but I'm gonna attempt it again. Oh, there we go. I guess you just have to hit it on the correct angle. Um, that's pretty neat. Pretty neato. Hardcore parkour. Fuck that up. Scattergun? Nope, I, that was a good guess. Maybe. Come on, clap trap. Did this resets because I died? Really? <laughs> I will kill you all. Chain Lightning OP. I actually, I forgot I got the Chain Lightning. I would not have remembered if I didn't uh, have the one. It felt like switching out my inventory or my grenade and having to go in my inventory. Um... Actually, I'm not- I, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to need any sort of ammo, so pretty stocked up on it. And with Cloud Kill, I should be able to kill him pretty quick. Nice, that was a very clean entrance. I normally get stuck a little bit, which in the long run, as long as you don't stick there for like seconds, you should be fine. Am I gonna- did, did I somehow fuck this up? Or did I make it in time? I think I made it. And I believe he's phase lockable, so that's gonna be even better. Uh... Oh wait! Well, the fire rate's better on the other one, but this one you can hit fire with. Let's turn up the heat! No! Ah, burn! Burn, baby, burn! Oh yeah, he didn't even get a chance. I'm not gonna get manipulation because that was too quick of a kill, I believe. Um, but... Whatever. I have chain lightning. Wow, you didn't die? Good for you. You deserve a gold star. This is the power of a siren. There we go. Yeah, to get manipulation, you have to wait for the first set of psychos to run out of the, the thing. But whatever. That was still a quick, uh... It was a quick flint kill and f uh, quick, uh... To get this open, so not bad. Alright, now we just gotta get to my ship. Tinderbox. Tinderbox! That's really low damage for... Oh wait, never mind, because I have like a level like 37 weapon. Oh, it's... Less damage than the... Really? Well, that's interesting. I'll mess with it a little bit, have some fun. Me mighty vessel, lower her into the water, you salty dog. Um... Okay, guys, well, that's going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. And until next episode, I hope everyone has a good day. And peace out.